Antonio Bigfoot Silva has failed his post-fight drug test and has been stripped of his bonus of $50,000 per fight of the night. How the hell does a guy the size and muscle mass and just genetic freakdom of Bigfoot Silva need to take drugs to fight as a fighter? There's, there's literally no reason I can imagine that guy would be taking steroids. He had... Uh, okay, so Bigfoot Silva had a TRT exemption, which allows him to have an elevated levels up to a certain point. Uh, the results of his test on the day of the event indicated a level of testosterone outside of that limit. Okay, uh, two things boggle me about that. So I don't even know which order, but I'll just take them in this order. First of all, he needs a TRT exemption. Yes. And, and, and second of all, he exceeded the level that he needed yes what yep so he's been stripped of the fifty thousand dollar friday night bonus and has been officially suspended for nine months oh man that is again looking at this guy the looking at bigfoot silva do you, do you really think this guy needs testosterone he he is Andre the Giant of mixed martial arts. This guy does not need drugs. The result of the fight will be changed to a no contest on Silva's record, while Hunt will still keep the draw on his. Oh, this is utterly bizarre as far as I'm concerned. I, I, I can't fathom this in any way, shape, or form. I've stood next to this man at a press conference before. Looking at him, you cannot look at him and think this guy needs drugs to fight. Well, I think the reason the the bigger sentence here, I guess, using you know a pun there, I guess, for bigger for Silva, he is a repeat offender because he was suspended for a year back in 08. So it's not the first time he's been suspended. So they're gonna hit the they're gonna levy the hammer a little bit harder for this one. Wow, I didn't even remember that he had been suspended before. Well, who was he fighting when he got suspended the last time? Uh, his lawyer, it was something about a legal supplement containing a testosterone booster. But but what fight did he fail for? Does it say? Uh, Tom Erickson in Japan under K one. Oh wow, he failed in Japan. Mm hmm. Holy shit! That's like failing in Texas. That's like failing in Brazil. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I'm sorry. I'm just blown away by this. I, I mean, I know you told me it was a big story. Again, pun intended, but uh -huh. man, how does Bigfoot Silva fail a drug test? I, I'm apoplectic here. I cannot fathom a reason that guy needs to take drugs. Yeah. Um, you think at one time, like, what I'm thinking is the rematch could have taken place to. With a nine-month suspension, we weren't expecting Silva to fight anytime soon anyway, so that's fine. I mean, a nine-month suspension, we weren't expecting him to fight for a good six months anyway. So. Yeah, six to nine months is about the layoff he needed after that fight, because that's one of the most brutal fights in history. Yeah, it's... I remember how Dana White was saying he'll buy each of the fighters a private island? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Hey, I wanted to see what Dana White's comment's going to be after this one. Uh, he just lost his private island bonus. I'm just getting word from, okay, I'm going to read this verbatim because this just got posted less than 20 minutes ago from Antonio Bigfoot Silva's Facebook page. Oh, really? This, this is this just is going this, on, on This is the story that never ends, my friend. This is the story that never ends. All right. Months before my fight, I looked for the UFC doctor in Brazil so I could start the hormonal replacement TRT, which was authorized and recognized by a professional. I started the treatment, and two weeks before my fight, I did all the exams required by the UFC. My testosterone level continued to be so low, or to be, continued to be low, so I was recommended by the doctor to increase the dose. Unfortunately, my level increased too much and caused me to be suspended. I only did what was recommended by someone trained who understands about the subject. Therefore, it was not my mistake. I'm cool because I know that the mistake was not made by me. I never tried doing anything wrong for my fight. Huh. So one of the comments down here says, so the doctor owes you $50,000? Yeah, no shit. And uh, quite frankly, I, I still 
I just don't understand why he thinks that it was okay for him to take more because somebody told him to take more. Like, you should always shoot for being low. You should never shoot for normal or above normal, even if you're allowed an elevated level. You you should, like, go for a baseline level and pray that you don't go above that and get flagged. Yeah, um, yeah, like, wow. Um... He's blaming the doctor. Like, that's yeah, a new one. That's threw, uh, threw his doctor under the bus there. A little bit. The UFC bus with the big wheels. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. All right. Well, on that bombshell, uh, let's just wrap up the show. 